is going to be about managing emails. Okay, so here it goes. Uh, it has come to my attention as a professor at Chico State that Chico State students received something like 1,600 emails from uh, campus, from Chico State, last semester. That's a mind-boggling amount of emails to try to sort through. And I don't want you sorting through some 1,600 emails to try to track down the, like, 20 emails I'm going to send you all semester long. I want you to be able to find the 20 emails I'm going to send you all semester long very easily. Don't hold me to 20. I don't know if it's going to be 20, but it's certainly not going to be 100. So what this video is, is going to be me showing you how to create a filter and a label for our Math 350 class. So this is what's going to happen. We're going to create a, a label named Math 350, or whatever you want to name it, but let's be serious, Math 350 makes most sense for this class. And then we're going to create a filter that says anytime you get a new email uh, uh, that's appropriately from Math 350, put that label on it. And then you're going to be able to go search for emails with specifically that label. Okay, so here it goes. Step one. We know there are emails from Math 350 in my inbox or in my uh, email somewhere. Oh, look, this one is not Math 350. So let's just be a little bit more clear in our search. Okay, there it is. Here are three fake emails I sent to my student accounts, which you all is where you get emails to, uh, your Gmail accounts. Here are the three emails that I want to apply a label named Math350. So let's figure this out. We're going to click on Settings up here on the right, and then click on See All Settings. And step one is going to be, let's go to Labels and create a new label. I'm going to name this thing Math350. You can name it whatever you want, but that's a reasonable name. So when I go back to my inbox and I go subject Math350, I can pull up those three emails immediately. We can select all of them and uh, where is it? Here it is. I can apply the label Math350. To those three emails, I'm going to apply the label Math 350. Now look what just happened. We have a label over here for Math 350. So I don't need to deal with searching anymore. I can just immediately click on Math 350 and all the emails that I just applied that label to show up. So now what we want to do is create a filter that applies this label every time an email hits our inbox. Now, you might be thinking that, oh, all I got to do is apply a filter that says, if it's an email from Edward, let's label it Math 350. But the problem is, Blackboard, in its infinite wisdom, doesn't actually send emails from me, from my email. So we got to work around this a little bit. And here's my workaround. I start all of my emails from and about Math 50 with math space 350 colon and then I tell you what it's about. So if we go back into settings and see all settings and this time come over to filters filters and blocked addresses we're going to create a new filter. Now this new filter is going to say math space 350 in the subject line. Remember we can't use who is the email from because when I send you emails from within Blackboard, Blackboard does not use my email address as the from email address. So we've got to use the fact that I put a subject line that matches a certain pattern in all my emails. So we're going to say as the subject, math space 350, create this filter. And then we'll click the box next to apply the label, and we'll apply the label math 350. And then create the filter. 
So now, any time an email shows up in your inbox, it will immediately be added to the label 350. That is my recommended way for you to separate out the 20 or 30 emails that I'm going to send you from the rest of the riffraff that you're going to get all semester long. And this way, hopefully, I've helped you create no excuse to say, oh, but I missed that email. Ha ha, that's my evil plan. Okay, that was my video on creating labels and filters specific to Math 350 for this semester.